Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations and I have a flip through of the latest journal that I have made and this is going to be for sale on my Etsy shop and I fell in love with this paper. So the story behind this paper is that I started out, I thought that I had found a great paper by Prima called Spring Farmhouse. And I went to scrapbook.com, which is where I order a lot of my stuff. I live in Colorado. They're located out of Arizona. I get my stuff lickety split from them. And so what I simply did was look up Spring Farmhouse. Well, this paper also came up. So I ordered some from this and I ordered some from the Prima Spring Farmhouse. And when it arrived, I couldn't figure out why it didn't seem to all go together real well because the Prima one is very pastel-y and this is very bright. So this is a big departure from my usual vintage pastel colors and yet I still love this. So anyway, I had posted a video about a flip through using this paper and called it Prima and somebody said, no, this is by a company called Simple Stories. and. I was so confused and I went back and looked it up and sure enough, there's a company called Simple Stories, who knew? I didn't know. So this is featuring the paper from Simple Stories. I will probably do another journal because I did go back and order the Prima Spring Farmhouse collection as well. And this is actually a whole kit that I was able to get. So it's the papers, it's um, a whole lot of other stuff which I will show you at the end of the video. Um, so yeah, that's the story behind this paper. So what I did, I wanted to make a ledger style. This is based on the Nick the Booksmith ledger and, uh, and Victorian ladies, uh, journal class. So instead of having the paper wrap all the way around the edges, the paper goes right up to the edge. And then I have painted it black around it and etched it. Um, I, th this Simplify actually came with the kit for this paper. So I liked that and I have really tried to focus on simplifying my life. Good luck, it's, I'm still working on it. Um, if you figure it out, please post below. The best way to simplify your life. Um, so I kept the outside very simple. It is just the same paper on the front and back. There's a lace edging to this fabric. And this is fabric that is old drapery material from a, I guess it was a package of samples. I'm not even sure where it's from, but anyway, I thought that was perfect with it. So I kept the front very pastel -y. Um, I picked up this beautiful ribbon, which I cannot believe how well it goes with this at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. I think I paid 49 cents for the whole thing. And then this is coffee dyed um, seam binding. So I did the double ribbon. I like that look better. I like having the double ribbon because it looks a little bit fluffier and a little bit fuller. Um, and I feel like it holds up better. A single seam binding ribbon seems to fall apart more easily. And I'm all about using quality things. So um, inside this book, you'll see it's hardbound. On the outside, it is a curved spine and it is what's called a hollow back binding. So the pages will lay flat. Um, all of the glues that I use are acid free. Even the coffee that I use to coffee dye my paper, I acid neutralize it. I use test strips to make sure I'm in that acid neutral spectrum. So I use um, as high of quality products as I can. Um, so let's get into this and get on with the flip through and show you what I have inside. Now, today is a very cloudy, rainy, overcast day. I think we're going to have a very long, cold, wet summer this year in Colorado. Uh, but I wanted to do some sunshine. So when I open this up, here is some sunshine. And I just have a pocket here in the front with a little pocket and a tag that I made. This is part of the paper that is from this paper pack. And then it came with these little pieces. So there's lots of pieces in here. I have also used a farmhouse or a farm kit from Shabby Tabby Studios. This is my design team project for her as well. So this is just one of the pieces and this talks about country produce, butter, cheese, eggs, 
Um, and so this is just a great little extra piece of paper that can be journaled on or used however you would like. And then on the front part, I put this beautiful card and this arrow and it says home. And this is actually a thick card. Um, so there, and I don't think I used any more of those, but again, this is all from the same kit, so it all goes together. I decided this needed color, so normally I stencil in, you know, the brown tones and keep it really pale, but for this one, I wanted to use some color. You can still write over this and not have any problems reading it. And we're going to start right out with my favorite tissue paper. Now there, you'll see I have left this mostly blank. There is a lot of space for writing, for tucking things, uh, for adding things. And at the end, I will show you that it, this comes with a whole lot of extras that you can add more to it. So this is just a flip. I left the flips as flips um, because this is basically, if you go this way, it's about a little over eight and a half by a little over four and a half wide. So your standard eight and a half by 11 paper needed to be cut down and I have rounded all the corners so it does look more like a ledger. This is genuine antique French ledger that I had from Monaghan's Papers. And then see, I did some green, I did some yellow and I did some pink as well with all of this, but lots and lots of coffee dyed papers. Um, I found these adorable little paper clips. They're Tim Holtz and had to have some. And so those are what are clipped in to the flips that I have in here. I left them all open. If you want to glue them shut, you're more than welcome to. I've also left all the strings along and if you want to cut them short, please feel free to. So again, this is actually a piece from, again, that farm uh, kit from Shabby Tabby Studios and then this is a tag that I made and again this is actually from that kit so this whole kit came with a ton of stuff there was paper there was stickers there's washi tape and it all goes together so I love how that all goes together and I love how this farm kit also goes so well with this whole farmhouse theme um, I do live in an old farmhouse, pretty cool. It is a 1920s, we don't know the exact year it was built, um, but it's about a 1920s Montgomery Ward kit home. And so that is really super cool. I have a couple of pockets in here and this Gathered Beauty, again, it came with several words as well. And this was stitched around it. And then I have, this is a tag from the kit. This is a journal card from the kit. And this is another page that I have simply cut down and put it in there so you have more space for journaling. Um, so yes, I actually live on a farm. It's a working farm. There's cattle out here and there is, um, and we also grow crops out here. Um, so let me talk about this page real quick and I'll keep talking as we're flipping through all the blank pages about where I live and why it's so cool and doing a farm themed journal. This is actually from a late 1800s report of the Secretary of Agriculture book. I had to include that. that this is such a cool book. And so here's some of the pink stenciling that I did using a Tim Holtz stencil. Um, here's another flip that I did and again these are both from that Shabby Tabby Studios farm kit and this uh, again like some of the other pages I did edge it with uh, black soot everything has been edged with black soot so that's kind of a departure giving it more of a shabby chic look versus the vintage photo and personally I'm loving vintage or uh, what is it called vintage twigs anyway um, so this has been printed on, believe it or not, this is the paper that I had from the days when I was printing out resumes. I don't even know that anyone prints resumes anymore. I think they're all electronic. Um, so that's just a nice paper to write on. Um, this is actually, uh, what is it called? I copy dyed it so it looks like your regular paper, but it is, parchment paper. And again, using pieces from the, the, the spring farmhouse kit. 
Um, I made a guest check. Isn't that so cute? And this is another one of the tags from the farm kit. I did put in a couple of paper bags. They're two different kinds. I have this one and I've opened up both ends. And then I'll, you'll see another one, which is copy dyed that I put in here. So uh, when we get to here, here's some more stenciling. When we get to here, I have a card that says plant smiles, grow laughter, harvest love in here. And this is that parchment again. So this actually has nine signatures and over 120 pages, front and back. Um, this is, I think, I have no idea what this is from, but anyway, it's coffee dyed. Everything in here has been coffee dyed with acid neutral coffee. I use baking soda to neutralize it. There's some lace, there's some other things. So again, this is all from that farm collection. Isn't this just too cute? And this is, a, again, that country produce, butter, cheese, eggs, turkey, geese, ducks, chickens, fowls. Yes, so we have all that out there. What I was going to tell you about living on this farm is awesome is that we actually don't do any of the farming. Um, all of our land is leased out to another family. So I get to live on a farm with all this cattle and wild animals and farming going on around me and I'm not responsible for any of it. That is probably the best part. I had to put an Edith Holden page in here. I just love Edith Holden still. And I know that she's kind of been a fad for a while, but I do love that. And this is actually just a piece of that paper that I had left over that was cut off. Um, I love this horse picture from the farm collection from Shabby Tabby. And then this is also a horse tag. And then this says, live simply, dream big, be grateful, give loves, and laugh lots. I love that sentiment. So those are all, like I said, everything is just paper clipped in here right now. And feel free to move things around, take things out, add things in. That's one of the things I love about these journals. Of course, more ledger paper and more, um, hmm. well, this paper clip is stuck. See if we can get it to come off. There we go. Again, more papers. This one says the poultry world. And I love this picture with the chicken wire and the chickens behind it. Again, another great page just for um, journaling on, a tag you can journal on the back. My tags are all printed out on ivory colored cardstock. So those have blank spaces as well. So tons and tons of just journaling. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to give you uh, seasickness there. This is the next paper bag, and this has polka dots on it. I did that using a grill uh, pan. And lots and lots of coffee dyed paper on this side. This one says love, uh, and tuck that in there. And this is out of an antique 1930s secretary's dictionary. So it's a secretary's dictionary because it doesn't just have dictionary pages in it. It also has stuff about grammar and writing letters and all that kind of thing. And this one actually has poultry. This is, has the definition for poultry. I have another tuck spot here and this card says bloom. This is one of my favorites. I love that in the coffee mug. And this says, oh, happy day, rise and shine. And this is a page uh, oh, this is another page from that, um, uh, the, the Department of Agriculture book that I used to make that. And again, I love how all the corners are rounded. And we have more of the stenciling, and you're starting to get shadows because suddenly the sun decided to show up, <laughs> which is always a good sign. And then again, this is more of that parchment paper and some more of the images that came with that kit. Um, this one's a chicken tag. This is a guest check again. I love the guest check because the green I felt went really, really well with all of this. Just tucking all of this back in. I think we've got a couple of more pages and then I'm going to show you all the goodies that will come along with this journal so that you can continue decorating and adding things to it. So we have one more tuck spot, two more tuck spots I think. Again this is from that farm kit so there's our cows and that's a variety of different cows and sheep and pigs and just kind of a cute farm image but it's it, you can journal on it and this was another page that I just folded in half 
and can also be used for extra journaling. And we are to the end. At the end, I have one more tag. This was a poem out of the Edith Holden book and I added some flowers and all of my tags have been stitched and they're on just that uh, vanilla colored card stock. And at the back is my Country Morning Creations sticker so you know where it's from and more of that bright yellow sunshine. Sunshine is definitely on my mind. So I'm gonna set this to the side and show you some of the other things that will come along with the kit. Um, you will get washi tape. I have more washi tape. I did not attach any um, tabs. I, I love tabs, so I made some. If you wanna put tabs on anything in there, those tabs are also included. And then I kind of grabbed some extra things out of the kit, and I really liked these, so I thought I would throw these in. Um, these are that heavy cardstock, and they actually are stickers. You just can peel off the back. I don't know if you can see that, but you can peel the back off, and they will stick in. So I have a couple of those. These are not stickers. These are just cut out of paper. So there's a couple of those. I love these little squares, and these were actually one of the pages, and I cut them all out. So again, there's a couple more things like this. Love this life and a couple of more journal cards that I'm throwing in as well. This one says, live life in full bloom. I love that. So all of this will be coming with this kit, and as usual, I always throw a few more surprises in, not just, um, not just what you see here. I'll probably toss a few more things in as well. So if you're interested in this uh, journal, the link is below in the, the uh, information section and you can grab Simplify a Spring Farmhouse Journal, Ledger Style Journal. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed my flip through today and I hope I have encouraged you to be creative. Bye!